Dr. Pescatori, how does pycnogenol affect the circulatory system and, and things like clotting? Um, well, that's a good question. I love, I love to talk about pycnogenol in the circulatory system good, because good. It, we need to know. Well, and, and and people need that because there's so many people who have circulatory issues, whether mm -hmm. it's whether it's peripheral vascular disease where they have pains in their legs and mm -hmm. they can't walk for only a few blocks before oh, getting those aches, and then they have to stop. And I mean, it's it, you know, circulatory disease is more than just heart attacks. All right. It's getting the blood vessel. It's getting keeping the blood vessels open so that it goes that your brain gets blood. It's keeping the blood vessels open so that your kidneys get blood, okay. so that your toes get blood. You know, these are really important, I mean, important areas. So, so, cardio, uh, so vascular health mm -hmm. is, plays Critical. an entire role in, in our entire body. So, so you've got to pay attention to it. It's not just all about heart disease. Oh, I don't have heart disease, I don't have to worry about my arteries. Well, yeah, you do. I mean, because okay. you want to make sure that you're getting blood to your brain. Because if you're not getting blood to your brain, uh, all right. Then because it is all focused on the heart yeah, disease. Yeah, most people focus just on that, and that's great because you know heart you disease to, is one of our leading killers. But you know, I mean, there are other things to but it. But like and you said, when people can't walk two blocks, that's because, because they have the aches and the pains in the legs. That's because your vascular system isn't working. Wow. So you've got and pycnogenol affects all of that, mm -hmm. and the way it does it is working on the collagen and elastin. Mm -hmm. Now we all know that collagen and elastin is why we get wrinkles as we right. age and all that stuff because the collagen and elastin breaks down and all of that stuff. Yes, we do know that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes, unfortunately we all do. Mm -hmm. But um, what happens is pycnogenol works from the microcirculatory level, which is the capillaries, okay. all the way up to the larger blood vessels. And that's because um, it affects the collagen and elastin. And what, and what that is, is mm -hmm. if you think of it, collagen right. and elastin sort of lines our blood vessels. Mm -hmm. So it helps to keep them open when they All need right. to be open and closed when they need to be closed. Because our blood vessels are opening and closing and dilating and constricting all the time. Because if it didn't, we'd get dizzy all the time when we moved our head from side to side or when we sure. got up from okay. a standing position to a lying down position. So our blood vessels are constantly opening and closing. And collagen and elastin helps to support mm, that. Yes. Mm. So when the collagen breaks down, the blood vessels can become very um, brittle. We call them okay. brittle. So they get very constricted mm -hmm. and they can't open and close. That's why we call it large pulse pressures. So like if you have a blood pressure of 160 over 80 okay. or 180 over 90, you know, those are very large differences between the mm -hmm. systolic, the okay. high number, and the diastolic, which is the low number. You like to keep those numbers close together. That tells you, even if you have high blood pressure, mm -hmm. that tells you that your blood vessels still have the ability to constrict and to move. Oh, really? But when you have large differences between your high number and your low number in blood pressure, that tells you that your arteries are not able to, get to open and close the way that they're supposed to. And pycnogenol supports the collagen and elastin that helps those blood vessels to open and close. So that's really what, where I think pycnogenol plays an, an amazing role in the circulatory system. And as a physician, you have this to give to your patients to help them through these things, right? Well, for me as a physician, I mean, I, I literally use natural substances first. Mm -hmm. And then, well, I, here's how I think about every patient. Okay. So diet, because you have to have a proper diet. Mm -hmm. There's not enough pills in the world, whether it's pharmaceuticals or nutritional supplements that are going to correct everything. I so know. you've got to have a proper diet. Of course, exercise. Of course. And then I look at nutritional supplements, what can help the patient, and then I go to drugs. Drugs are sort of my last mm -hmm. choice, uh, pharmaceutical drugs. Right. But when you have something like pycnogenol and patients, because so many patients come in with high blood pressure, they're overweight, they have mm -hmm. high blood pressure, they've got um, you know, carotid artery disease, they've yes. got dementia, mm -hmm. uh, or, or even not just dementia, something like, oh, I can't remember why I go into rooms anymore. Age-related cognitive yes. decline, exactly, yes. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Oh, I can't remember names. Mm -hmm. I have a hard time recalling things. Mm -hmm. Well, that's because the blood vessels to your brain, mm -hmm. major organ in the body, blood vessels to your brain are not quite doing their job. Okay. And what about getting the blood to your liver? The detoxifying yes. aspects of all of this. Pycnogenol plays a role in, in helping to detoxify. 
mm. the body. So when I have a nutritional supplement, and I love when I have one nutritional supplement that can do so many things. Right. Because then I don't have to load the patient up with, here's, oh, here's 25 things that you have to take three times a day. <laughs> so oh, good. gee, thanks, doc. I could just go down the block and just take one pharmaceutical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but what will that one pharmaceutical do to you as opposed to these 25 nutritional supplements I'm recommending? But that's why having pycnogenol in mm -hmm. our arsenal is really quite um, fantastic because you actually have one, one substance, one natural substance, that can actually work for your entire cardiovascular circulatory system and that's why it has so many applications. Thank you so much. Thank you.